I get so many questions about how to increase pitching accuracy on my website, on my YouTube channel, on my Facebook page, um, and I wanted to address that in this video. I have a few other videos that I address that, but I want to take it a step further and give you something that you can do to increase your pitching accuracy in five minutes a day. And this is great for you coaches out there. You can add this into your practice plan at the end of practice a few days a week. Um, guys who are watching this by themselves and are trying to get the work in by themselves, you can do this in your house and work on your pitching accuracy. You don't even need to be on a field. This one is great. All you're gonna need is a stopwatch, okay? We're gonna do, again, five minutes, I said. Five minutes a day. Now, before we get into what we're gonna do, you know the four things about pitching accuracy. I talk about it all the time. First thing is consistency. Next thing is conviction. Then you got visualization and then body control, okay? So we're gonna talk about two of those things today more in depth and add them into an actionable plan that you can use today to get better. So the two of the four things that we're talking about today is gonna to be visualization and body control, okay? Now to control our body, we have to be stable. We have to have balance. We have to do things that uh, are able to keep us balanced and under control as we move down the mound. If we're able to control our body and be consistent moving down the mound, when we do so, we're gonna be able to throw more strikes. The other thing we're gonna talk about is the visualization aspect of this drill. Now, there was a study done in Australia somewhere about this guy who threw darts left-handed, okay? And he was actually right-handed, but they had him throw darts left-handed. They had him throw, uh, I don't know, maybe 20 darts left-handed, and they measured how far away from the bullseye uh, his darts were, okay? Again, he's not left-handed. Then, for one month, all this guy was allowed to do was visualize for five minutes a day throwing darts, okay, with his left hand and hitting the bullseye. So he wasn't allowed to pick up a dart, he wasn't allowed to throw any darts, wasn't allowed to practice any darts. All he could do is five minutes in his mind, visualize throwing left-handed darts and hitting the bullseye. So after one month, he came back, threw another 20 darts or however many he threw the first time, and his numbers were cl close, uh, twice as close to the bullseye as the first time. And all he did was visualize five minutes a day. So as baseball players, we can use that for pitching as well. What we're gonna do is we're gonna mix these two things together, the stability exercises and the visualization, and put them together. So I've got five exercises that we're gonna do, one minute each, and while we're doing these exercises, all I want you guys to do is visualize yourself throwing a bullpen. So it's gonna be like a five minute bullpen session, but you're not really throwing a bullpen, you're doing exercises, but in your head, you're super focused on seeing the catcher. You wanna see it mentally, visually, in your head, see the catcher set up and deliver that pitch and hit it right there. You want to hit your spots every single time. So visualize that catcher moving to the outside and you throwing a fastball and hitting that spot perfectly. Visualize the catcher moving inside, you throwing a nasty two-seamer and hitting that catcher right in the glove. Visualize the catcher going down and outside in the 0-2 and throwing that curveball exactly where you want to throw it, okay? That's what you're going to do for these five minutes while we're doing these exercises one minute each. First exercise we're gonna do is the planks, okay? So this is a great one for body control. We're just gonna get our body straight and we're gonna try to keep it in a straight line. Again, I'm not focusing on what my body's doing. I'm just trying to be in a straight line and then I'm imagining throwing those pitches and hitting my spots. Nasty pitches, two seams, four seams, whatever you guys throw, see the catcher move, hit that spot right where he's setting up. Second exercise we're gonna do, right after the first one, we're gonna roll right into the second one for one minute, is gonna be V-sit. Another great stability exercise is gonna work on our stability and body control and help us uh, pitch more accurately. So we're just sitting in a V-sit position. Again, we're not really thinking about what our body's doing, but after we get that initial stabilization, then we're just gonna imagine, again, our catcher setting up and us nailing the spot every single time. The third exercise we're gonna do uh, to work on the stability, and we're still continuing to think about our bullpen in our mind and visualize hitting our spots every time, is wall sits. We're just gonna get into a 90 degree angle right here, sit nice and tall, and here we go. I'm back into my bullpen. There's my catcher. You guys can keep your eyes open as well. I got my eyes open. I know you can't see with my glasses on. I got my eyes open, but I can still see my catcher move over to the outside. I can feel myself going through my pitching delivery, delivering that pitch and hitting that spot, and it feels good to me. You know, I want it to be real. You gotta make it feel real while you're doing these exercises, okay? Fourth exercise we're gonna do is single leg RDLs. Now, for this one, we're gonna split 30 seconds and 30 seconds, okay? 30 seconds on one leg, 30 seconds on the other. We're gonna go down with our opposite hand to our foot. Just like we're pitching, we're gonna stay balanced on this leg and we're gonna stabilize, okay? Now I'm back into my bullpen again in my head and I'm hitting some spots. Nasty pitch. Then we switch it up again, 30 seconds on that one. Then we go to the other leg. Make sure you're blocking off 
with your other side, stay balanced. This is a tough one. Back into my bullpen in my head. The last exercise that we're gonna do, uh, and we're gonna break this one down into 30 seconds as well, because it's two-sided, is gonna be the side planks, okay? Again, I should not be taking my head off the whole time. I should be in my own head. If you guys are doing this as a team, nobody should be talking. Everybody should be zoned in and focused. If you're doing this by yourself, even better. Again, you could do this in your room. You don't even have to be out in the field. You can do this anywhere. So a side plank, we're gonna be on the forearm. We're gonna keep our body straight and point this arm straight up at the sky. I'm back into my bullpen hitting my spots every single pitch. If you, feel, if you find yourself in your head missing spots, you gotta get zoned back in and hit the spots. You, you shouldn't miss spots. You're not actually throwing a pen. You should hit every single spot in your head. And then we rotate to the other side, finish up our five minutes of visualizing and exercises on the other side of the side planks. Guys, I really want you to try this one out because it's gonna be such a benefit to you guys um, combining the visualization uh, in with the stability and the body control that we need so much for pitching accuracy. So if you're trying to be a more accurate pitcher, you got to do this, man. It only takes five minutes a day. That's it, right? So put in the work, no excuses. Also, if you're trying to get better, if that's what you're about, if you're one of those baseball players trying to get better, click my subscribe button because I put out 700 videos already and I'm not stopping anytime soon. So if you subscribe and you hit that notification bell, you're gonna be notified every time I upload a video. This way you don't miss anything. What if I put out a video that's gonna benefit you greatly, like this one, right? What if you missed this video? That's not gonna be good, especially if you're a guy who's trying to take their game to the next level. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn the notifications on. If you're watching this on Facebook, go over to my page, yougoprobaseball.com. Uh, and click that like button. Um, and again, if you guys have any uh, comments or questions, if you're on Facebook or YouTube, just leave me a comment below. I answer everything. I talk to you guys down there and I'd love to help you guys any way that I can. Thanks so much for watching.